Reynolds. The explosive revelations that continue to come to light from the Presidential Commission of Inquiry are causing outrage among civil society and political activists. The latest, of course, was when CEO of Perpetual Treasuries, Kasun Palisena, revealed before the Presidential Commission yesterday that Arjun Aloysius, a former director, had provided false information on the company to the Committee of Public Enterprises in Parliament. Arjun Aloysius had provided false information to the COPE committee chaired by D.E.W. Gunasekara. However, before the committee was able to formulate its final report, parliament was dissolved. Following the election, MP Sunil Handuneti was appointed as the chairperson of COPE and they investigated the bond transactions and also took into consideration information gathered by the previous committee. The CEO has clearly said that Arjun Aloysius provided false information to the committee. He said he concealed evidence and lied. What is the situation today? What about the people who put footnotes? What about the people who wrote books? They will have to burn these books and apply the ashes on their foreheads. How can those responsible for the footnotes step onto the street with no shame? We call on the government to take immediate action against this. We also call on legal action against those who protected this transaction. This commission is only a fact-finding entity. They don't have the powers to punish those responsible. However, this commission has revealed details which could have taken years to investigate. These facts revealed by the commission can be used by the legal arms of the government because the evidence is already there. They could act on this when the final report is released. If a villager steals coconuts, he is beaten up and questioned by the police. However, people like Arjun Aloysius, who stole trillions from the central bank, go before the commission and say, I cannot provide evidence. Is this the law of the land? They can remain silent before a court of law, but they have no legal right to stay silent before a commission of this nature. Some people wore clean suits. They stole in a very diplomatic manner. Ranil Vikramasinghe's friend who was working in Singapore was brought in as the central bank governor. That is Arjuna Mahindran. His son-in-law is Arjuna Loshes. It was revealed through the Presidential Commission that Arjun Aloysius lied to cope on the bond transactions. How do you think the footnote clan of the UNP feel now? There were benefits, perks and bribes behind all of this. It will all be revealed. Do you honestly think that he went and lied to cope on his own? Don't you think he consulted Ranil Vikramasinghe beforehand? Where should the people involved in this crime end up? <laughs> If someone has committed a crime and is lying to cover it, then he should be punished for both crimes because the law of the land has provisions for this.